Good evening, everybody. Hello, how are you doing? Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Thank you, Carla, for confirming. So welcome to today's class. How was your day today? Today is Tuesday. How was your day? Did you have a good day? Tired, teacher. Tired. Why? Did you work? Yes, I have a long work. A long day at work. All right. What about the traffic? More or less. Okay. More or less. Okay, but a couple of hours and then you will be able to rest. And the rest of you, how are you doing? Do you have a good day? Was it very busy? A lot of tasks at work or at home? Hi, DJ. Good evening. Hi, Carla. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm doing great. It That's was nice. a good day. Nice to hear that. Are you going to cook or do you have already done it? Uh, yeah, I've already done it. But um, I don't eat it yet. Oh, I you haven't eaten. eaten. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So Enjoy in a few meal. minutes, I'm going to go. Okay. That's nice. Thank you for being here on time, everybody. I see that you're very responsible. Same people as yesterday. Mm -hmm. the, it's only eight. So, yeah, but we're going to start. Meanwhile, the rest is joining us. We're going to continue with a review of yesterday's class. Just let me, let me share my screen so that you can see the presentation. I already sent it again. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Thank you so much. Okay, so today is your class number four, and the topic for today is filling out a job application form. But yesterday we were studying uh, how to use the time expressions. Just to make a review, I left this slide here so that we can read it back again and review yesterday's class. So it says use for plus a period of time, right? For example, I worked in Diana for seven years. So for es como decir por y tenemos que decir un periodo de tiempo, ¿verdad? Mencionar un periodo de tiempo. En este caso, por siete años. Luego decimos eh, since. Use since plus specific point in the past. For example, I have worked there since 2005, eh, since más un periodo de tiempo en el pasado, eh, puede que la acción comenzó en el pasado y continúe en el presente, es como decir desde tal punto, ¿verdad? Desde el eh, 2005, desde la semana pasada, no necesariamente tiene que ser un año, ¿verdad? Pero sí, un periodo de tiempo eh, después de since, y es como decir desde desde tal fecha, desde tal año, desde tal semana, desde tal día, etc. Eh, from y to. Estos van juntos. From es como el eh, desde cuándo. Y el to hasta. From to. So we use from and to stay the start and the end of the time. Para uh, especificar cuándo comenzó. Y cuando terminó eh, la actividad, ¿verdad? El, el inicio y el fin. Y tenemos, por ejemplo, I stayed there from January to November. Then it says, is then. También vimos eh, usar el then. Nos dice acá, uh, is then to introduce a new event in a series. Lo vamos a usar para introducir un nuevo evento dentro de una serie. 
es como decir luego. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have an, an example here. It says I worked in, in that company until 2011. Then I quit. Okay. Trabajé en esa compañía desde el 2011. Luego, pues, renuncié. Then I quit. Now, until. Until to mark the end of an activity or the end of a period of time. For example, I work in Panama until my project was over. Entonces, eh, para un equivalente en español sería como decir hasta. Okay, hasta es para marcar el, el finalización, cuando finalizó una actividad o, o un periodo de tiempo. Y eso es eh, como el último tema que vimos ayer en la clase. And also, we did this exercise. Remember, we solved these uh, six sentences. We placed this, esto sí lo chequeamos, por eso le puse las respuestas que, que dieron ayer. They are here. So, and we didn't finish this one, right? Five additional sentences. So we're going to do it as a group, as a kind of review. I would like for you to write one example using the first one, four. Can you write in the meeting chat a sample sentence using four? We have one example there. We have, I worked there for three months. Can you write another example in the meeting chat? Maybe you did it yesterday, but we didn't check it. I'll give you some time for you to write it in the meeting chat. Write a sentence using four. Excellent, Carla Daniela says, I was training for three years, for three days. <laughs> Very good yes. example, Carla. Thank you so much. Do we have another example? Anybody else who'd like to share? Carlos says, I drive in for Santa Ana. I'm a listener. Okay, Carlos, thank you so much. Drive carefully, drive safe. Yo puse tres ejemplo. días porque eso es lo más que aguanto. Traté de ah. ser honesta. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Only three days and then you left. You yeah. quit. Oh, you didn't like it. No. <laughs> okay. That's okay. If you don't like what you're going to do, better quit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, because, <laughs> yeah, and somehow we have to, yes, enjoy what we do <laughs> and it's better. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, let's give a couple of examples using since. Since. Do you have any example using since? If you do, write it in the chat. I'm going to give you time. Okay, Melanie says, I like painting. Since I was a child. Excellent example, Melanie. Very good. Any other example using since? Since. Let's see. Okay, Julissa says she has lived here. Since 1980. Excellent. Excellent example, Julissa. Thank you so much for sharing it with us. Now let's move with until. Let's write an example using until. Okay, we have uh, a 
Okay, it says, yeah, sure. I work in the same company for seven years. I lived in Colombia until my childhood. Well, that's a period of, of time in our life, so very good. Okay, now, easy, from to. Let's write samples using from to. From to. Okay, we have Victor, he said, you teach English from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Excellent, that's correct. <laughs> Thank you so much, Victor, excellent example. And Carla says she works from 8.30 to 5 p.m. on Sundays. Excellent. Thank you so much, Carla Daniela, very good example. Thank you. Okay, and uh, the last one, we need examples using then. Can you write examples using then? Excellent. Carla Daniela says, I told to my boss that I had a stomach ache. Then I went to the doctor. Excellent example. Thank you so much for sharing with us. Is there any other? Okay, Julissa says she walked for a bit and then ran away. Excellent. Thank you so much, Julissa. Very good example. Thank you so much, everybody, for your participation. I see that you have gotten very good the idea of this topic and you're doing a good use of those prepositions. So and the next thing that we have here is an article. This is on page 14, and this is the last exercise regarding to uh, prepositions of time. And what we're going to do here is to read about Nicole's work experience and fill in the blanks using for, since, from, to, um, 
alone. It says here. Let me stop sharing. And let me see. Okay, yeah, before, okay, I think we have more time. I just have 15, I'm missing five. So I'm going to check attendance after this exercise. Maybe um, we can have more, or some of your classmates are on the way home still. So let's wait for them. Okay. Okay, let's see here in the material. Have you done this exercise? Okay, can you see my screen? Yes. yes. Okay, thank you so much for confirming. So in this one, we have to complete using the prepositions that we have studied. So let's read and if you have completed in your material, um, it's excellent. And if not, you can do it now. We're going to do it as a group or would you like to work on this in a breakout room? Or you prefer to do it alone by yourself? Como prefieren hacerlo? Prefieren hacerlo ahí solitos o hacemos en grupo? Mm, solito. Solito. No sé qué dicen los demás. <laughs> okay. I'm going to give you time and then you tell me what are the prepositions that we need to complete this part. And if you uh, if you have printed the material and you prefer to do it with your, your pen, it's okay. If you have it in the computer, it's okay. You can also modify it by uh, clicking on this T. It's just, it's just to add text, you see here. So, and I start reading, it says, Nicole was born in San Salvador, El Salvador in 1985. She graduated from UCA University and she studied there. And we have 2005 and 2011. So, uh, what is the preposition that goes here? What do you think? Science. From. 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 Y luego muevo acá, ya lo dejo aquí. Y pueden mover ustedes acá con el mouse. Ponemos aquí from. Luego clic y nos vamos acá. ¿Cuál era acá? Two. Two. Ahí lo posicionamos. From and two. Okay. And then we continue working. I'm going to give you some time for you to work on that. And then we're going to check together.
Teacher, a mí solo la última me falta, pero ahí sí tengo dudas. Okay. I think in this one, for the context, it says Monday Seller and she loves her job. She has not worked there, but her team supports her. Okay. What do you think can be there for the context? Esta no está en la lista de las que vimos. Entonces se las voy a dejar porque no, no está en la lista de lo que teníamos en el material anteriormente. Okay. Okay, so esta, el contexto nos dice que es long. Es como no ha trabajado ahí por largo tiempo o por mucho tiempo. That, that is a... Uh, no ha trabajado ahí por mucho, o, pero su team la apoya. Ah. Uh -huh. Ok, uh, so. I see that some of you have already finished. So we have. The first part completed. Um, Nicole was born in San Salvador, El Salvador in um, 1985. She graduated from the UCA University. She studied there from 2005 to 2011. Voy a detenerme acá en el punto. And who would like to continue? A volunteer to continue reading until this period and giving us the answer. A volunteer to read? I think it's them. Okay, then. Mm -hmm. Then she worked in, in, in uh, four. Four. Excellent. Four. Excellent. Then she worked in Molsa for seven years. Okay, volunteer. A volunteer for the next one. Oh, yes. Uh, since she was a child, yes. she wanted to be a manager of a great and important company. Excellent. Since. Since she was a child, she wanted to be a manager of a great and important company. She did not have to wait much to make her district because the man who was the manager almost 15 years retired. Mm -hmm. Until. Sigo leyendo, tiene que leer otro chicha. Okay, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he worked there until. Uh, 2015. Okay, so, ¿cuál era acá, perdón? No escuché bien. Until. Ah, esa es la otra, era arriba. Eh, for, for almost 15 years. Okay, for um, 15 years retired. Uh -huh. His name was Gonzalo, and he worked there. Until. Okay, excellent. Until 2015. Thank you so much. Any other volunteer to continue? Today, Nicole is a successful person. She works. Uh, 
from from okay very good so she works from monday to excellent to saturday and she loves her job and the last one she has not worked there long but her team supports her and then we have finished this part of our material which is on page 14 so you can um, save your work o bien pueden borrarlo si no quieren guardar los cambios okay so let us check attendance and then we're going to continue with the rest of the exercises remember to say present when you hear your name Okay, let's see. Abel Edenilson Salazar. Abel Edenilson Salazar. This is not Abel. Okay, Abel presente dice. Okay, thank you so much, Abel. Mm. Abigail Elizabeth. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. No está Abigail. Okay, then let's continue with Balmore Alexander Marroquí. Presente, teacher. Thank you, Balmore. Carlos Emilio Coto. Carlos Emilio Coto. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Cecia Noemí Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you, Cecia. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Present teacher. Thank you. Hazel Vanessa Mengíbar. Present. Thank you. Julissa Yamilet Villalta. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Daniela Molina. Present. Thank you. Carla Ivania Anaya. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Carla Lorena Mendoza. Present. Thank you. Let's continue with Marilyn Alejandra Grande. Marilyn Alejandra Grande. Okay, let's move with Mario Ernesto Ramirez. Present. Thank you. Melanie Alexandra Martinez. Present. Thank you. Melissa Estero Reyana. Present. Thank you. Mirna Janet Ángel. Present, teacher. Thank you, Mirna. Roberto Emilio González. Present, teacher. Thank you. Santos Cristina Cerritos. Santos Cristina Cerritos. Oh, I think she's driving. Creo que está conectada, pero parece que va manejando. Okay. Sí, se perdone que no, me, no, no se me podía quitar el audio. Este, uh -huh. Presente. Okay. Pre Okay, thank you, Santos. Cristina, drive safe. Victor Noé. Present. Present. Thank you, Victor. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'll continue sharing my screen so that we can uh, move forward with the next exercise. All right. Um, and this one, we already finished with the... Uh, time prepositions and I see that you have um, 
a good understanding on this topic and you have done a very good use of those propositions. So we're going to go ahead and complete the homework number three together. And also we're going to check the one that was pending uh, yesterday. Se acuerdan que había uno que por más que no nos salía bien, pero ya está resuelto. So I'm going to share that with you. Uh, let's see. Teacher, fíjese que yo lo intenté ahora en la tarde y sigue sin aceptármelo. Y o sea, eh, yo lo pongo de la manera más lógica que es la que usted puso con nosotros ayer. Que creo uh -huh. que era la cuatro. La y cuatro. No me... Ok. Uh -huh. Las vamos a poner la, todas la, acá. La cuatro, la cuatro no dio problema a mi tarde. Ok. Estamos, esto fue en el homework 2, right? Vamos a ver, eh, la primera te quedaría así, por si no la... Y acuérdense de poner el punto, que eso no dio problema. <laughs> so, it would be a great opportunity to study abroad. The number two would be a training could be beneficial for our employees. Uh, the number three, te las voy a poner también a copiar en el chat. Working less hours would be another benefit and the number four aquí pueden ver que ya está correcta y queda weekends off would be a good option to have happy employees yes y ahí está de esta manera nos tiene que quedar la cuatro y finalmente la cinco sería maria could be of great help in the inventory department y así nos quedarían pueden copiarlas del chat y ponerlas en eh, uh, si quieren hacer ahorita el ejercicio o las dejan por ahí en el blog de notas o le toman una captura para que cuando vayan a solventar el ejercicio si cualquier problema a veces copiar y pegar pero <ríe> aquí a veces o un sea, teacher que ahí eh, había una palabra mala staff estaba mal eh, weekends off en la 4. Ajá. Weekends off would be a good option to have. Ajá. Este, estaba employees happy, pero es happy employees. Hay que, hay que poner primero el adjetivo happy. Es que nosotros employees. nos había quedado happy staff. Es no, que en la 4 no está la palabra employees, teacher. Solamente mm -hmm. staff. Ah, yes, this is staff. Ok, so, yes, but employees. Y lo vamos a reportar para que el soporte técnico lo corrija. Pero in the meantime, pónganle employees. Porque, ajá, okay. no es staff. Pero para mientras, pónganlo así. Para mientras, eh, porque recuerden que la plataforma, por lo menos la primera unidad, todas estas tareas de la primera unidad, tienen que estar resueltos a más tardar a la quinta clase. Y esta es la cuarta, ¿verdad? Okay. Uh -huh. Entonces tienen que tener resuelto todo esto eh, para que pues vayan con el, el progreso deseado, porque eso se va chequeando cada, cada cinco clases. A medianoche se genera el reporte. Entonces si usted no ha completado el ejercicio, lo pueden tomar como eh, desinterés o algo así, entonces eh, ahorita hagámoslo así y yo voy a reportar el ejercicio para que en su momento soporte técnico lo corrija, porque sí ahí dice staff, pero eh, poniendo employees que sale bueno, employees <ríe> por eso no nos agarraba ayer entonces acuérdense de esa parte cuando lleguen a ese ejercicio y eh, Cualquier duda, pregunta, acuérdense que tenemos el chat de WhatsApp. Porque a veces de repente eh, hay algún compañero o compañera que no se conectó a la clase. Entonces, eh, desconoce, ¿verdad? Este glitch que tenemos ahí con la plataforma. Entonces, podemos ayudar. And then, let's go with the number three. Y acuérdense que ustedes se pueden adelantar. Pueden ir adelante en la plataforma, que es lo ideal, ¿verdad? 
Igual si necesitan ayuda con el ejercicio de la sección 2, porque ustedes van adelantados, eh, pueden hacer eh, la pregunta chat y cualquiera que esté por ahí disponible les puede ayudar. ¿Verdad? Si estamos ahí pendientes con, eh, eh, en ese momento yo les puedo ayudar, les ayudo también. Para eso tenemos la herramienta, ¿verdad? El grupo de WhatsApp. Así es que no duden ni tengan pena de decir no, que no vamos en la sección 2 o no vamos en la 3, no me van a ayudar. Claro que sí. Y recuerden tomar una eh, captura donde se vea qué tarea es y qué ejercicio es el que usted necesita ayuda para que no andemos rebotando por toda la plataforma buscando cuál ejercicio es. Ok. Now, um, este es con las time prepositions that we already studied. So, uh, let's see. Uh, does anybody would like to have the remote control so that you can complete the first one? It's a, a multiple choice. We just have to click on the correct option. So it says, we haven't seen Mary. And then we have to complement the party, since the party or for the party. What do you think? Since. Since the party. Okay. Let's see the number two. I have been waiting many years, since many years or for many years? For many years. Correct. Y los demás, ¿qué pasó? <laughs> okay. Now, I work 7 a.m., 7 p.m. From two. From, two. From, two. from two, the first option, okay. Number four, I work third, 2006. In. In 2006, okay. I live in says I In. 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 Okay, and that would be correct. All the answers were correct. So, lo voy a dejar uh, por si le quieren tomar alguna captura o tomar notas. That was pretty easy. Teníamos una combinación de preposiciones de tiempo y de lugar también. That you have covered that topic in the previous modules. Okay, and now uh, let's continue then. I'm going to stop sharing here. And that will be the end of this topic. And we will continue with something here that I would like to review. You remember that yesterday we discussed about the ED ending for regular verbs in past. Do you remember? que teníamos ahí unas uh, problemitas con la pronunciación, entonces uh, a veces surge la pregunta y cómo sé cuándo va a ser sonido id, cuándo va a ser like t sound at the end or when it's gonna be d sound, okay? So I'm sure that you have studied this topic before, maybe you have seen that, but yes, probably this is going to be useful for you. Um, Ayer más o menos mencionábamos algo, pero pues aquí ya está como más completo. Eh, remember that the pronunciation of word ending in ed depends on the final consonant sound. There are three ways to pronounce ed at the end of a word in English that we mentioned yesterday is id, t sound like t, and d. Okay, so those are the three different ways to pronounce it. And how can I know? For example, if the final consonant sound is T or D, like for example, the verb want, the final sound is T, right? So if it is in simple past, it is it. 
wanted. Lo pronunciaremos como ir. Wanted. No vamos a decir wanted. Acuérdense que ninguna de que termine en ed y la pronunciación nunca va a ser ed. No vamos a decir ed. So, o bien decimos id or como un t sound or d. So, in case, en el caso de que las palabras terminen en consonante sonido t or d, remember is id. La pronunciación al final va a ser id. Like, for example, wanted, needed. Sonará como si le agregamos una sílaba extra, ¿verdad? Wanted, needed. Ok. Y ahora, ¿cómo vamos a saber? Aquí nos menciona de voiceless and voiced. Ok. Vamos a ver. El voiced, que es este que tiene el asterisco para acá, ¿cómo vamos a decir que es un voiced eh, sound? It says it used the vocal cords and they pr produce a vibration or human sound in the throat. Estos que, son, que dicen que son voice, ustedes van a notar que producen bastante vibración en la garganta. Por ejemplo, si ustedes pronuncian cold y tocan su garganta, van a sentir que vibra bastante. Cold, clean, offer. Ahora si ustedes dicen help, help, no hay mayor vibración. Entonces, cuando eh, no hay mayor vibración, se dice que son voiceless. Entonces, esto es la pronunciación final, será T. Por ejemplo, help would be helped in the past. Look would be looked. Sniffed, laughed, washed, watched, kissed, danced, fixed. Okay. And those who are voiced, los que ya dijimos que sí produce bastante vibración en la garganta, remember the, the va a ser the at the end, called, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, amazed, verbed, claimed. Okay. And, y eso lo pueden eh, tener por ahí, les quedó, se los mandé antes de la clase para que lo tengan I handy in case I want to check or to continue practicing it. And I hope that it helps you. Okay. Any question? No questions? Teacher. No. Can no? you repeat? Teacher. Mm -hmm. Can you repeat the pronunciation of of D? Uh, this one. Ah, yes. D, like that. Yes. Okay. Called, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, amazed, rubbed, claimed. Estos casi no se nota la diferencia. Los que son más notables son los que terminan en T or in it. Any other question, comment, or request? Okay, and there are some th some times in which the T sound would be uh, lost. A veces tampoco es que nos vamos a, a rematar con esto, sino que a, a veces se pierde incluso el sonido final cuando, por ejemplo, let's see. Ok, como veíamos anteriormente, este tendría T sound, ¿verdad? Lo tendríamos, lo pronunciamos washed. Pero como inmediatamente de washed, que el sonido final sería T, 
la palabra que le sigue comienza con T también. Entonces no vamos a decir uh, yesterday I watched TV, sino que se pone junto y se pierde este, este T. So you say yesterday I watched TV. So you don't, no hace doble sonido de T, sino que se une y suena como que este se perdiera. But yes, a la persona le va a entender, usted lo está haciendo bien, el, 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 como la marca aquí del el yesterday ya nos está indicando el pasado. So no worries, algunas veces pues no este complicarse tanto. And this is just like some additional information for you to know. And uh, yes, kind of review. And this is because we will continue practicing dialogues and we continue using the past in these dialogues. And we have this conversation on page 15 of your material. And as you can see, uh, it has worked. Okay, aquí hay un verbo de estos regulares en pasado, worked. So yes, por eso les hice como un pequeño review de esto que mencionábamos el día de ayer. Y vamos a seguir utilizando verbos eh, regulares, regulares, simple past. So yes, that was, that's why it was important to bring this to your attention, to have a little review. And in this one, we're going to be filling a job application, which was the topic for today, and provide the specific information related to work experience. Okay, now let's practice this conversation. We're going to do it first together as a group. I'm going to read the conversation for you to repeat at home and you can do it with your microphone off. And then if you have any question about pronunciation or new vocabulary, just let me know and I will be happy to help you. Okay, let's see, it's just to Alan and Blanc. Okay, let's bring the action. What is your social security number? It's three four five six three two four five seven eight six five four. When were you born? I was born on July 1st. Where did you work? I worked in Monza. What do you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Any question about the conversation, any new word, vocabulary or pronunciation?
No, teacher. No question? No. Any question? Okay, it means that you are ready to practice the conversation in group, right? I'm going to create the breakout room so that you practice this conversation in groups. And then we're going to role play here in the main section after you have practiced. Remember, take advantage of the time, take advantage of that you have the classmates here to practice with. And uh, this is something that we cannot do with the platform. We cannot practice the pronunciation with the platform. So take advantage of the time and uh, practice as much as you can. Do not get bored of this. It English is practice. Okay. Uh, let's create the room. Remember that if you are able to, you can share a screen with your classmate. And if not, you can do it with your material. Okay, let's join the groups. Teacher, por error toqué la pantalla y no le di meterme al breakout room. Uh, me fue? Ahorita. Gracias. Vamos a poner Carla Daniela. Okay. ¿Ya le salió? Y Melissa está. Yo creo que Melissa es la que está compartiendo. Ah, vaya. Ah, pues ya vamos a ver cómo nos turnamos para que, para que podamos todos. Vaya, ¿quién quiere empezar? Le cedo y... El... Se están Lo peleando por participar, yo sé. Yo creo que, que debe pasar Francisco. Primero la dama. Por ser el único representante. Vaya Francisco, Primero. lo escojo como víctima. Bendito entre las mujeres, dice. Ay, vaya, pues, dale conmigo. Yo, yo, yo empiezo. Ok. Adelante. Eh, what is your social security number? It's 3456324. Seven A six five four. When were you born? I was born in July first. Where do you work? I work as, is in Molsa. What do you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. The teacher is still there, sí. Okay, yeah. yes. Really How do you pronounce this? How do you pronounce hypertension? It's hyper. Hypertension. Hypertension. Sorry. Uh -huh. Hypertension. Okay. Y la otra que escuché que necesitamos reforzar es la de primero, donde está el 1ST. Ese es first. Suena como E, no, no es like E. No es first, es first. First. Excelente. Okay. First, first okay. and hypertension, remember. <laughs> okay. okay, and what is a BBA? Um, BBA se refiere, okay, aquí les pongo, en el chat es bachelor, bachelor, business, administration. 
Ah. Ahí está en el chat. Es Bachelor Business Administration. Es como eh, su diplomado en administración de negocios, administración de empresas. Uh -huh. Me iluminé. <risa> no <Yeah. sé. risa> Vaya. Y ahora, ¿quién quiere? ¿Quién quiere qué? intentarlo? Yo seré Alan. Va. Va, ¿Y Alan. quién le va a ayudar? <risa> Seven, eight, six, five, four. When were you born? I was born on July. Yes. Where did you work? I worked in Malta. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. And when did you work there? Oh, you. From 2005 to to. 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. And do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Okay. Okay, very well done. I just hear the last word. Está muy bien. A medida que vayan practicando, entre más y más lo practiquen, lo van a ir haciendo más rapidito, más fluido. Y la última palabra nada más, que está un poquito, um, no difícil, pero no es común. <ríe> uh -huh. eh, so, es hypertension. Hypertension. Hyper, hypertension. Okay. Hypertension. Hypertension. Hypertension, hypertension. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hypertension, hypertension. Okay. Good, continue practicing. Okay. okay. Sweet. So, solo nos falta Abel, pero creo que Abel no puede. Okay. Abel. Pero Abel está, Abel está, aquí estoy. Acabo de llegar. Okay. Okay. ok. Ok. Comienzo. ¿Con quién voy? Conmigo. What did your social security number? It's 3456324578654. When were you born? I was born on July 1st. Where did you work? I worked in Molsa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Okay. Excellent. Continue practicing. Okay. Okay. Ahora pueden cambiar roles. Como el compañero acaba de entrar, pueden cambiar roles. Um, si usa Carla, que fue blanca, puede practicar entonces con a ver number okay it's... usted blanca okay teacher una consulta cuál era la pronunciación de toda la unión de los números ah oh, eso es, es número por número three four ah número por número three two ah, okay. okay okay it's Three, four, five, six, three, two, four, five, seven, eight, six, five, four. Mm -hmm. Y ahí si bueno. quieren agregar el guión, ¿cómo se dice eh, guión? 
En ah. un segundo. Dash. Ahí se los escribí dash. en el chat de la mire. Dash. Ah, dash. 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 Ah, ok. Muchas gracias. Okay. Dash. When were you born? I was born on July 1st. Where did you work? I work in Mulsa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have an, uh, a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a... ¿Cómo se pronuncia ese? BBA. BBA. Okay. Uh -huh. I, have I have a BBA. BBA. Okay, I have a BBA. Do you have a chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Uh -huh. Hyper? Okay. Hypertension. Hypertension. Excellent. Hypertension. Thank you. Thank you for the Thank you. You're welcome. Hypertension. Okay. Muchas gracias. Y hoy, no sé si volvemos a practicar mientras, mientras nos llama. Si gusta, este, Janet. Chronic, así como se escucha, chronic. ¿Cómo se escribe? Chronic. Yes, it's chronic. Chronic. Medical chronic. Ajá. Uh -huh. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Teacher, ya estoy por acá. Si me puede tomar en cuenta la asistencia más tarde. Yes, Carlos. So you're done with the conversation? And do you have any question or just the pronunciation about chronic? ¿Alguna pregunta del grupo? No, no teacher, no. creo que solo eso teníamos, pero ya, ya la solventó. Igual ah. ya, la, ya la practicamos entre los que estamos. Ah, ok, good. Then es lo mismo igual que, que digamos, eh, química es chemistry, aunque se escribe con CH. Mecánico también, que se escribe con CH, es mechanic. Uh -huh. So most of the time, the CH sound is like chronic, like mechanic, etc. Okay, so if there are no more questions, I see you in the main section in a while. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay, let's wait. I you have 16. We're going to role play when everybody's back again. I think that was uh, pretty easy. Just a couple of words, but at the end, I think that you got them. And I was able to hear almost all of you practicing. Just the last group, though, number one, I couldn't hear you because you have been, I think that you memorized it. <laughs> you practice a lot. 
until you memorize this. So uh, do we have two volunteers to role play this uh, conversation? You can raise your hand. So, um, Hi. Okay, we have a Ben. And who wants to practice with that Ben? A volunteer to practice with that Ben? Janet, thank you so much, Janet. Okay, you can start a Ben. Okay, what is your social security number? It is uh, for uh, three, four, five, six, three, two, four, five, dust, seven, eight, six, five, four. When were you born? I was born on July 1st. Where did you work? I worked in Malta. What did you do there? I was an evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BB8. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Okay. okay, excellent. Thank you so much for your participation. You did it pretty good. So just remember, it's in here is security. Security. And that's for security. And cuando tenemos estos en 05, 02, 03, acordemos que sí podemos seccionarlo si no queremos decir la entero porque es complicado como decir 2005, 2011, podemos seccionarlo en dos. En este caso, pues tenemos, uh, you can say 2011, pero cuando tenemos 20, en este caso, y luego 05, okay, so you have to pronounce it like 05, 05, o pueden pronunciar el 0 como O, 2005. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, no, it's like 25. It's 2005. Oh, pueden decir 2005. Es correcto también, pero es más común en este caso pronunciar el cero como O, O, H. Good okay. to know, right? Excelente. Uh, um, Gracias por su participación, ven la importancia de que estén participando, porque aunque ya los había oído en los breakout rooms, siempre sale alguna cosita por ahí que se escapa, y pues importante que la vayamos reforzando. Excelente, gracias, gracias, muchas gracias por su participación, you're doing it great. Do we have other two volunteers? Two volunteers? Raise your hand. Me. Okay, we have Hazel and Julissa. You can start, Hazel. Okay. What is your social security number? It's three four five six three two four five seven eight six five four. When were you born? I was born on July 1st. Where did you work? I worked in Molsa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Hypertension. Excellent. Well done. Excellent job. Thank you so much for your participation, ladies. You did it excellent. And I don't want to leave anybody behind. Hay alguien más que quería participar? Raise your hand. Yo, teacher. Ok, tengo a Carla Mendoza, no sé si ella dijo yo, Cecia. Yo, yo, Cristina de Ruiz. 
Okay, we have Carla, Cecia, Cristina. Vamos a empezar con Carla y Cecia, luego vamos con Cristina y vamos a ver quién nos ayuda con Cristina. Okay, go ahead, Carla, you can start. Okay, what is your social security number? It's 3456-245, last seven, eight, six, five, four. When were you born? I was born on July 1st. I was, pardon, where did you work? I worked in Molsa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Teacher, tienes el micrófono. Excellent job. Thank you so much. Yeah, I forget. I always mute in case that any background noise so to avoid. But you did it excellent. You sound very natural. And this is what I was telling you. Entre más lo practican, luego lo dicen fluido y se escucha super natural. Super bien. Congratulations to both of you. You're doing it excellent. And uh, now let's move. I had also Cristina and Victor. You're gonna start, Victor. What is your social security number? It's three, four, five, six, three, two, four, five, dash seven, eight, Six five four. When were you born? I was born on July first. Where did you work? I worked in Molsa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Ay, se me okay. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Okay, muchas gracias. Excellent, well done. This one is like hypertension, hypertension, hypertension. Yes. Okay. Very good. Well done. Thank you so much for participating. And uh, yes, remember that this is practice. Lo hicieron muy bien. Y entre más practiquen, recuerden, hay que practicar y practicar y repetir hasta que nos salga más fluido, más natural. Pueden ir repitiendo eh, como seccionándolo, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, primero digo, what is your social security number? What is your social security number? What is your social security number? Y así hasta que yo mismo lo digo más rápido. Ya cuando ustedes se van acostumbrando a las palabras, viéndolas, y luego pueden incluso practicar nada más repetir, verlo rapidito y luego quitar la vista de ahí y tratar de repetirlo. What is your social security number? So you can um, get that confidence. But you're doing it great. Excellent job. Thank you so much for your participation. Now it is time to move on. Let's see. In the next slide, we have a couple of questions. We are going to solve them. I'm going to give you some time. So this is based on the conversation. It says, read the conversation and answer the questions below. Number one. 
What kind of education does Blanca have? Number two, what other type of job could Blanca have in the company? I'm going to give you some minutes for you to review the conversation and answer these two questions and then we're going to check, okay? Okay. Are you done with the questions? Yes, teacher. Okay. So can you share the number the answer for number one with us? What kind of education does Blanca have? Yeah, uh, BBA. Yes, that's university. right. She has she has a university diploma, she has a BBA. Excellent. Thank you so much. Now, uh, volunteer for the number two. What other type of job could Blanca have in the company? She has saved six years. Mm -hmm. What does BBA mean? Uh, bachelor, uh -huh. bachelor Business Administration. Aha, uh -huh. excellent. It's Bachelor's Business Administration. That's um, her, her diploma, the diploma that she got from the university. And based on that, we can reply or to answer the number two. Victor said, uh, yes, she could, she could work as a manager. 
Very good, Victor. Thank you so much. What other type of job could you have in a company? Yes, Victor, as a manager. Mm -hmm. She could work as a, a receptionist, can be. Uh, yes, uh, she can handle that. Also, maybe in the purchasing department, mm -hmm. in purchasing, since it has to do with administration. Mm -hmm. That could be another option. So good. Uh, we're going to check attendance before we move on. And um, let me stop sharing so that I can see the file. Remember to say present when you hear your name. And here is the file. Abel Ellen Nielsen. Present. Thank you, Abel. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Present. Thank you, Abigail. Valmore Alexander Marroquín. Carlos Emilio Coto. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Okay, he wrote present. Thank you so much, Carlos. Cecia Noemi Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you, Cecia. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Francisco. Hazel Vanessa. Present. Thank you, Hazel. Julissa Yamilet. Present. Thank you, Julissa. Carla Daniela. Present. Thank you, Carla. Carla Ivani Anaya. Present. Thank you so much. Carla Lorena Mendoza. Here, teacher. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra Grande. Present. Thank you so much. Mario Ernesto Ramirez. Present. Thank you, Mario. Melanie Alexandra Martinez. Press. Thank you so much. Melissa Estero Rellana. Present. Thank you. Mirna Janet Angel de Castro. Present teacher. Thank you, Mirna. Roberto Emilio González. Present teacher. Thanks, Roberto. Santos Cristina Cerritos. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Cristina. Victor Noé Bonilla. Present. Thank you so much. Okay, we have checked attendance, so we're able to continue developing the topics here in the class. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have already done this. And uh, what do we have next? Remember that it is in this section, we were going to discuss how to fill out an application for employment. And on page 16, we have a, a template as an example of a application for an employment. And here we have, this is the most uh, common fields that we are going to see on them. For example, the first one would be the date. Remember that the date, we need to write first the month, then the date, and the year. We have the example here already done for you. Uh, position applied for. We have an example here, the position uh, I am applying, for example, is a team leader can be a supervisor, manager, uh, operator, etc. Uh, name of the person who is applying. And we have 
two fields here. So probably first and middle name, and then last name. So we have an example here. And then the address, for the address we have two fields. So I guess first the address and then the city. That's the most common way to write the addresses. Then a uh, phone number. And then a phone number. And you can fill out that field. Then we have the two options for gender or sex. We have male or female. Um, based on the example, I, I wrote an X here and it says male. Date of birth. If it is like for an English job or or that has to do with English first, we're going to write the, the month, then the date, and then the year. Social security number. If the person has a driver's license, the cross it out yes or no. Employment history and also education fields. Do you have any question? No questions? No, anyone. Okay. And then in the next part, uh, this is the, uh, according to this, we're going to ask questions to our classmates to complete the job applications. It has to be like this one. And I sent this to your, uh, to the WhatsApp group so that you can have an idea of the questions that you can ask. The idea is for you to complete this in pairs, but we can do it in groups of three or four, and you can take turns to complete the application for employment of your classmate. So you have to ask the questions in English. Uh, the date, well, it is not necessary to ask what's today's date. You know it. So you write the date. And then you ask your classmate, what position are you applying for? Por ejemplo, le preguntamos al compañero o la compañera, ¿para qué posición aplicas? Y si nos contesta, ah, oh, team leader, I'm applying for a team leader position. Entonces escribimos aquí the information that we gather. Then we can ask this question, what is your first and middle name? And then we complete, ah, my name is Oscar Armando. And then we ask, last name, please? Rivera. Can I have your address, please? And then it says 99, 99 Avenida Sur, las, a las direcciones no se cambian en inglés, se dicen igual en español, así como son, no se cambian. Eh, 99 Avenida Sur, con el escalón, número 503. Ya eh, completamos ese field. In which city is this? Uh, it's in San Salvador. Y ya lo ponemos aquí. Ok. So we have the sample questions. Estas son... Eh, las preguntas que pueden hacer, por ejemplo, para ir completando eh, los campos que ahí se mencionan. Uh, so, let's repeat. You can repeat after me. Repeat at home and you can keep your microphones off. Let's say the first question. What position are you applying for? Where is your first and middle name? Last name, please. Can I have your address, please? And which city is this? What is your phone number? When were you born? Did you provide me with your social security number?
Do you have a driver's license? Tell me about your last three jobs. What is the name of the company? Where is it located? What did you do there? Could you mention the activities you performed there? Tell me about your educational background. All right, now that we practice pronunciation, is there any question? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta acerca de lo que está por ahí? Esos son ejemplos de cómo pueden ir a, uh, guiando o haciéndoles preguntas para completar la application for employment of a classmate. Any question? Eh, yo tengo una. Uh -huh. eh, si solo he tenido dos empleos, ¿me invento uno más o solo dejo los dos que ya tuve? Just two. If you just had two employments, that, that just write two. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. Any other question? Do we have any other question? Okay. How do you say Oh, high school. Okay, that's fine. High school. Any other question? Okay, I'm going to um, create the breakup room so that you can complete a couple of job application forms. You can do it as a group and you can take turns. Ustedes deciden qué dinámica, quién no va a ser primero, quién con quién, eh, otro les puede ir ayudando, chequeando las preguntas, etc. Okay, I'll give you some time. Y recuerden, me pueden ir modificando en su manual, así como eh, lo hicimos anteriormente en this exercise. Remember, uh, if you have it in the PDF file, you just uh, click and then click here on where it says text, and you will be able to type in the information that you need. If you need to erase, you just click in this, like, uh, waste basket that we have here and then you can erase in case that you made any mistake that's pretty simple okay i'm going to create the rooms 